Welcome back. Looking for a quick craft project for the kids' room? Well, we have an easy yet creative one for you today. Lifestyle and DIY expert Julie Ireland of It's a Glam Thing joins us now on the show to show us how to make a flower nursery wall art. Thank you for joining us yes, today. Thank you. I recently, within the last year, have really gotten obsessed and interested in Pinterest. I can lose three to four hours in a match, which it seems That's like right. in a matter of minutes. I'm addicted also. There's so many like, great things that you can do, yeah. but you're going to show us something today that I we am. can do for our kids' room. And you also have a new book out, too, right? I do. DIY on, on the, the fly. fly. Under 25. I love that. And so these are all things that are under $25. Yep. Because sometimes when you think of craft projects, you think of two things. One, I am not Martha Stewart and will never be able to do that. And two, it's right. going to cost so much, so I should just buy it from the store. But these are easy ones that we can do ourselves, right? Absolutely. You don't have to be a designer to right. achieve a designer look. Right. Um, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. All right. So. You just have to have the industrial size glue gun. That's right. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love guy. that. I yeah. love that. All right, so where do we start? So we grab so the monogram. this is what we're going to be making, okay? Oh, Just perfect. so that the viewers can see. Very uh, customizable. Flower nursery art. Yes. So here are, let me just go into kind of the supplies that you okay. need. First, you need to find a monogram letter or initial. You can spell out a word, your child's name, or just their initials. Sure. You can find these at Joanne Fabrics or Michael's. Uh, it's optional if you want to spray paint that okay. or paint it with some acrylic paint. You're going to need some ribbon to make your hanger, and then you're going to need some silk flowers. Okay. Okay, in whatever color story that you like. Today we're going to do pink okay. um, for a little girl's room. And I already kind of started this this just for the sake of time sure. but I've spray painted this um, spray painted this white okay and then I've kind of started laying out the flowers for you already so um, what you want to do is you want to take your your wire cutters and you want to cut your silk flowers off so that you have little pieces like this I like to mix in like maybe some roses with some type of a filler so I'm using the hydrangea in this case okay so once you have everything spray painted and ready to go you want to kind of lay out your flowers and kind of get kind of your general kind of mixing sort of give yourself the pattern yes, that you're going to be working exactly. with exactly and then once you've done that then we want to start gluing we want to just start gluing those down, and then we're going to use this filler to fill in all of the gaps. I oh, mean, it's I see. really that simple. Really so I don't know. Easy. Do you want to want to take a shot at yes. that? Yes. <laughs> Normally, I'm not allowed to pray with <laughs> sharp so, objects or hard right. objects. So, <laughs> so, so, um, and I do want to say too that you want to be careful because hot glue guns are yes, burn hot. They are hot. <laughs> yep. So if you kind of glue, I'll place these down. So do you want to do kind of underneath? the flower yeah. like kind of a, a longer strip exactly you want to try and hide like those little stem cuttings there too perfect and um, we can keep gluing and this is really something that's very customizable no matter what your theme it may is. be I'm gonna put this guy in to kind of fill in a little and then let's put another rose there you could do flowers you could do seashells if you're oh absolutely thing, right? yeah I mean I think I love using buttons and oh, crystals so you can add and mix in like some buttons and some crystals so let's put some glue here too and then we'll mix blingy. in yep we'll mix in some filler and then another little glue spot there I like this. And this so is not this is not hard at all. No, this is actually really easy. Not, it's so so simple. Let's do a couple more glue spots. It's gonna be great when you have people over and you're like, look, I made that. Exactly. Oh, and I you made know that. what? It makes a great gift like um, you know, for a baby shower. Let's just hit some more glue on here. Yeah, so it's really, really simple. I mean, anyone can do it, and that's really um the concept of my books too, is that, you know, it, it's I mean this is so so simple oh, I mean sure. it's a glue gun it only takes time especially when it comes with your kids it can be something that you've made it's like oh look this is what mom made so exactly. you're like it's that one thing that nobody exactly. else can make exactly so let's put some more glue in here and we'll put some filler because we want to try and hide all these little gaps in between oh sure you know also the between. cobwebs that I keep doing with it. <laughs> yeah exactly let's put a little glue right there okay and then I'll stick um, I'll stick another little filler piece in here now, will um, our viewers be able to find some more like child-friendly things you can do, like in your kids' room? What are the what are the different craft projects that you have in the new book? 
Well, this book is really, I, I do have a book coming out called sure. Kid Craft. Oh, I like that. Home. So let's put some more glue there. And Good that will have some kids projects interested. for kids. But definitely, you know, with the, the glue gun, let's put a little bit more glue there. Yes, um, there are, most adults should be supervised with the glue yeah, gun. Yeah, <laughs> ex exactly. We've all had I that mean, one accident. Yeah. And let's put a few more glue pieces there. These are fabulous. Now yeah. we're going to jump ahead a little bit because you're going to um, show us quickly how to put the ribbon on here too. I want to make sure yeah. that we get to that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we okay, run out of time. so we've kind of got this so, so far. So now, yeah, and, and we'll fill the rest in later. Okay. So basically, for the ribbon, you're going to pick a ribbon. This is the on the fly quick version. Yes. This is how I do it. Okay. Right. You DIY just cut on it. the fly live. Cut it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Then you want to take your ribbon. So you just kind of cut it in two pieces. You want to take your ribbon. Okay. And you want to just make a bow. It's literally this simple. Hey, that's what we like though. <laughs> exactly. We like easy. Because then we can spend more of our time being creative. Exactly, right. exactly. So it's that simple. I've tied a little bow. Of course, you can make it kind of nice sure, and even. however you need it now, to be. Now, all you're going to do is I'm going to lay it on the back here. I'm going to figure, oh, I want maybe four inches. So I'm just going to cut that ribbon off. Okay. Now let's just put two glue spots here. One there and one, one yep. there. Yep, that's okay. it. And I'm actually going to use my scissors just because this is yeah, really super pretty hot. hot. <laughs> of course, you might want to take a little bit. We have to let it uh, sure. let it dry, let it cool but down really, a bit. that's it. There you it's go. It's that simple. That is our DIY yeah. on the fly. Yeah. Well done, there well done. Go. Well, congratulations <laughs> on the new book. Thank We're you so much. We're looking forward to learning more. Again, yeah. her new book is called DIY on the Fly. It's available in bookstores and online at It's a Glam Thing.